I moved home, I've noticed something. The road that I was walking on every day to go to work was all distorted. I ask myself, what's wrong with this road? How come I've never noticed its asymmetry before now? A second later, it was all clear. The luggage I was carrying with me made me see that road from a completely different light. Whilst normally I wouldn't pay attention to it and walk peacefully, that day the road was bumpy and very long. That situation made me reflect. My walk to the train station was in a way comparable to certain aspects in our lives. The luggage, metaphorically speaking, was our problems. Heavy and uncomfortable, disturbing enough to make me see the road in a more sharp, almost dramatic way, just as our problems blind us when we try to interpret the beauty and the meaning of our lives. It is obvious that I couldn't just leave the luggage in the middle of the road and continue like nothing happened. I had to carry it with me up to my next destination. Same applies to our problems. Once we have them, we can always just drop them when we want and move on. I wish it would be like that, but we all know that that's not the case. Sometimes we need to put in some effort and be patient before saying goodbye to a problem which has haunted us for a while, practice resilience and stay as focused as possible, trusting that things will turn out alright and remembering that nothing really lasts forever. Once I realized that I was struggling to drag myself to the station and that if I don't change something I will lose all my powers pretty soon and arrive to my new home drained, I had to improvise something in order to give myself some sort of relief. So I started trying different ways of carrying the luggage, hoping that I will find a formula that works better than the one I was applying up to that stage. My despair was actually making me pretty creative. I did eventually find the right way to carry the luggage, allowing myself this way to preserve my energy. When a problem hits you, you can't just simply pretend that it doesn't exist. You need to accept its presence and work on it at your own pace until you will reach your destination, that is, the problem will cease to exist. One thing we can actually do is to find new ways of coping with our troubles in order to make them less overwhelming and more manageable. One day I went up the hill near my house here in Tuscany and the climb was very steep. I had to stop literally after every 5 to 10 steps. I was pretty annoyed thinking that I will never reach the top at this pace. So I had to find a more efficient way to deal with my ongoing circumstance. My goal was to continue moving without breaks up to the top. I tried few things but they didn't work. Then I started walking slowly, making really small steps and breathing properly. My body started to relax and I felt no need to stop anymore. One could think, okay, but that way you will get to the top the next day. Well, actually, I got there way quicker than what I expected, preserving lots of energy, altogether was actually a pleasant climb. When you have a problem, one solution could be to cut it into very small chunks. At first it might seem inefficient and time-consuming, however, brick on brick, you will eventually build a house. You cannot put the walls together without having the walls first, right? So start with small steps, with courage, positivity and consistency and you will soon enough manage to get to the bottom of things. Much love, see you next time!